In this video, let's understand the assumptions of instrumental variables. Let's assume that you have this model here. Think that the Y is salary and the XK is education and the ability is inside this error term U. When XK is correlated with U, we call this endogeneity and this will bias the beta K. Therefore, if education and ability, they are correlated, you are in trouble here to estimate beta K. Let's formalize the assumption that XK is endogenous. We write that the covariance of XJ in the Dero term is equal zero for J equal one, two until K minus one. See that K is not included. If K is not included, the default assumption is that the covariance between XK and Dero term is different than zero. This assumption here it's claiming that all x are exogenous and clean, except xk. What is the solution to get rid of this correlation here? You can come out if instrumental variable z1. And this z1 has to be uncorrelated with the error term. Additionally, z1 has to be correlated with xk. That means if you run this regression here, the theta1 has to be different than zero. And we formally write this second assumption. Note that in this regression, we have to control for all other x. We need that this theta1 be statistically significant after controlling for all these x, what is very hard. It is easy to get a simple correlation between z1 and the xk. But you have to use your intuition. When you put all these x in the regression, there is a tendency to decrease the explanatory power of z1 and then the magnitude of theta1 decreases or it becomes less statistically significant. How the IV estimation of this model works? First, you have to run ordinary square for this regression. Then you get the xk hat, that is the predict values for education. Then you plug xk hat in the place of xk. Now, you run ordinary square for this regression and you get the beta k that's supposed to be unbiased. The logic is xk is correlated with the error term, but the xk hat is not correlated with the error term. The intuition here is that the IV you generate xk hat that is uncorrelated with the error term because the IV z by itself is uncorrelated with the error term. Let's use flip a coin as instrumental variable. Flip a coin is uncorrelated with the error term. But the problem is that the flip a coin cannot explain education. This theta1 will be zero or not statistically significant. Can you use the IQ or test score as IV? In this case, theta1 will be statistically significant because IQ or test score is high correlated with level of education. But the problem is that IQ is likely to be correlated with the error term. Remember that the ability is inside the error term, and the IQ is correlated with ability. It is incredibly harder to come out with the IV that fulfill these both conditions. This assumption here you can test empirically, because you have the data, you have all these x, and you have a candidate for z. This regression here is just the ordinary square where you want to get a theta1 that is statistically significant. This assumption here is a theoretical assumption. The error term is abstraction, it's not your data. You have to reason, you have to come out with theoretical arguments to justify this assumption here. You don't have the error term to calculate this covariance here. What you have is the residual, the u hat. But you get the u hat after run this regression here. u hat it's already a byproduct of your assumptions about the x that you used. You only get the u hat after getting the beta hats. That's why you cannot justify this assumption based on the covariance between z and the u hat. But there is a benefit in calculating the covariance between z and the u hat. Because if this covariance is different than zero, you know that you are in trouble. But if z is uncorrelated with u hat, this does not imply 
that covariance between z and the error term is equal to zero. You can imagine how many papers have been published and they will be published about what is a good IV for education. As typical of social science, there are many papers because there is no clear-cut solution. And there is no clear-cut solution because this is a theoretical assumption. Although this is an empirical assumption, you just need data to test, it's still harder to get this data one statistically significant if you need to control for many x.